Uh, my name is Melissa Luki. I am actually Indonesian, but I was also I was also brought up in Singapore for a very long time. So basically, I'm from Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. and I've just graduated with a BSc in Government and Economics yesterday. So basically, my research talks about um, the variations in um, trade tax revenues that are earned by developing countries and what actually drives such variations. And in particular, I look at how different electoral systems, different electoral institutions affect the variations in um, trade tax shares that governments receive. So that's basically what my project was about. For GV353, basically um, there were only two supervisors, two, there were only two professors in charge of the module. So in my year, it was Dr. Cheryl Sean Hart Bailey, who specializes in the politics of monetary policy. And the other one was Dr. Ryan Jablonski, who specializes uh, more in the politics of um, trade policy, particularly in developing countries like Africa. Eventually, he was the one who became my supervisor. As with regards to the work process, well, I mean, he, he was he was definitely very approachable you know he let me kind of basically bug him <laughs> almost every other week at office hours which i found really really helpful and he was very much willing to really entertain so many of my questions from how to do the literature review what kind of statistical methods would be appropriate and so on and maybe in terms of what other maybe what other authors should i be looking at what are the alternative explanations i should be um, exploring alongside what I thought would be the right explanation for my area of interest. So yeah, it was it was actually a pretty fun process and he, he was very, very approachable. So that made it a lot, a lot easier. The library staff gave us so much help because at the beginning of Lent term, as we were starting to actually embark on writing the dissertation, we had a few seminar sessions where staff from the library came down and taught us, you know, how to search for journal articles on, let's say, Summon or on IBSS and so on. And that definitely came in very helpful for literature reviews, finding other journal articles to get inspired by and so on and in terms of the staff that were around I mean other than my other than my supervisors Dr. Jablonski and Dr. Sean Hart Bailey I was also able to approach staff from um, other government causes so for example at one point of time I wanted a case study about how politics was affecting trade policy and it, uh, it just so happened that I was studying that in the context of Latin America in the 1990s in one of my other courses, Democracy and Democratization. So I was actually able to approach the professor in charge of that course and as, um, as well as my own um, class tutor to actually ask for help in that area to, you know, kind of buffer up my case study a bit. And even um, professors, from, professors and teachers from the economics department, because I conveniently have um, you know, a major in economics as well. So I could approach them to ask for help in, in terms of empirical methods of investigation, how to run regressions and so on. They def um, the professors there were definitely very, very helpful. And there was also one thing uh, that I thought was, um, you know, that really benefited me. In, so in, the, in my second year, in summer, I attended LSE groups. And through that program, I actually learned a lot about the basics of research and how to write a research paper. And that made it so much easier when I actually had to start writing my dissertation. So that really gave me the fundamentals to start. So yeah, there were a lot of resources that LSE actually gave me. So um, immediately after graduating, I'm returning to Singapore to work for the civil service. Um, yeah, so I'll be working um, with in, in the area of you know attracting economic investments and so on in the very near future. But further on, you know, further on, I hope to immerse myself back in research. Hopefully, undertake further study. Um, yeah, that would be a master's, possibly a PhD. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But yeah, and as with regards to which area of research I want to undertake, um, I have quite a few options, so I'm not too sure yet. But if I do decide to continue on this path of you know exploring economic policy issues in developing countries, I would also hope to be able to apply that to work in international organizations in the future alongside my research, just so that it would be useful for not just myself, but also the broader community.